Hi, fifth grade. Welcome back to reading. This video is for April 27th. Today you're going to begin reading the story, May the Plum Tree Always Blossom. Before we get into the story, there's a verse that I'd like to share with you. This verse is from James chapter 1, verse 27. It says, Religion that is pure and undefiled before God the Father is this, to visit orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained from the world. So God wants us to take care of people in need, especially widows and orphans who are sometimes so helpless and don't have any means of supporting themselves. And we're going to see that played out in the story that you're going to begin reading today. So let's take a look at the two vocabulary words that we have for this part of the story, crystallized and scissored. Go ahead and stop the video and look those two words up in the glossary. All right, you should have found the definitions. Crystallized means to coat with crystal such as sugar. So something that's coated in sugar is crystallized. We could use the sentence, rock candy is crystallized sugar on a stick. Mm, that's pretty yummy, isn't it? Maybe you've had that before. And then the next one, scissored, the swimmer's powerful legs scissored through the water, propelling him to the finish line. So scissored means to move in a manner resembling scissors cutting. So you can just imagine the swimmer's legs going up and down as he's propelling himself to the finish line. It resembles scissors. All right, well, let me give you a little bit of background before you begin reading the story. So this story takes place in China and it's right before World War II begins. And we think a lot of times about World War II being a war in Europe, but it actually took place, took place in many countries around the world. And one of them was the continent actually of Asia because Japan was trying to conquer that continent and the um, Pacific Islands while Germany was trying to conquer Europe and Italy was trying to conquer Africa and it, there was war going on over many, many parts of the world at that time. And so when Japan came and invaded China, many people were displaced from their homes, many people were killed, many children were left as orphans. So there was a woman named Madame Chiang Kai-shek, or Madame Kai, as she's called, who was born to missionary parents in China. And after she married, her husband became an important government leader in China. When Japan invaded China, thousands of children were orphaned and homeless. Madame Kai, as she's called in our story, set up orphanages for the homeless children. So you take the word war and orphanage and you put those together and it's orphanage. It's an orphanage for children who became orphaned as a result of the war. Madame Kai set up these so that the children could receive shelter, food, and education and she paid for many of the expenses herself. And so that's where we find our two main characters, Plum Blossom and her brother Luang, in a city called Hangchow in, an, in a orphanage run by Madame Kai. So let's begin reading the story. Turn to page 444 in your book. The title is May the Plum Tree Always Blossom. It's written by Millie Howard, illustrated by Steve Mitchell. The following story takes place when the Japanese were invading China just before the beginning of World War II. The setting is Hangzhou, a city in occupied China. That means that the Japanese had taken that city over and that area over and they had occupied it. Refugees from other parts of China where the battles were still raging had to travel through city after city searching for some place to settle and begin their lives again. As the Japanese army pushed farther into China, the stream of homeless people increased every day. When the city gates of Hangzhou opened in the morning, the streets swelled with refugee families. Those who chose to remain in the city went about their business as usual. They tried to ignore the foreign soldiers who occupied their city, 
and the flood of strangers that flowed from the east gate to the west gate. So that's where we find Plum Blossom and her brother in the city of Hang Chau in a orphanage trying to survive in spite of some very difficult circumstances. So as you read the story, I want you to think, why do Plum Blossom and Luang think that a hair ornament, two bowls, and two bedrolls are very valuable? I hope that you enjoy reading this first part of our story.